How to create Duolingo accounts. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in a super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video has helped you out, please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like. So I actually know that this video has helped you out. So what you pretty much want to do is go to the App Store or Play Store and simply just search for Duolingo. Once you've downloaded this, um, you simply just want to click on open and this will open up the Duolingo app. And here we can see get started or I already have an account. Now, obviously you want to click on get started because you do not have an account yet. Once you click on there, you, um, you will get this. So simply click on continue. Then um, they'll tell you this, click on continue. And here we go. So here we have to click on what you would like to learn. So um, for example, here it says for Dutch speakers, since I'm Dutch, you can learn English, uh, German or French. For uh, English speakers, uh, speakers, you can also see it here. So uh, let's say you were to learn Japanese or uh, intermediate English or um, so you can choose which you would like to. So then simply click on continue and um, then they'll just ask you this. Well, this is just, just some simple questions. You can just uh, uh, continue, uh, for example, this. So here, how much Japanese do you know? I know some common words, for example, click on continue. Okay, we'll build on what you know. So then click on continue again. While you're learning, are you learning Japanese? Um, and then here you can just choose why um, I'm just going to say just for fun. Let's set up a learning routine. What's your daily learning goal? So here you can set up, for example, let's say 10 minutes a day. That's regular, as you can see, casual, regular, serious and intense. Um, then click on I'm committed. And then that's 50, 50 words in your first week. So then click on continue again. And then um, here you can also allow the notifications. So they'll remind you every single day that you need to um, uh, do your tasks. So I'm going to click on allow just like that. And then here's what you can achieve in three months. So here you can see what they will help you with in about three months. And then click on continue again. Um, then here you can see where would you like to start. Start from scratch or find my level. So take the easiest lesson of the Japanese course or find my level, let Duo recommend where you should start learning. So you can choose which one you would like. Uh, this one does say recommend, so I also recommend to just do this. They'll give you the perfect level um, so you can easily start. So click on continue again. And then uh, here it says, since, since you know some common words in Japanese, you should start with section two. So I guess that's just fine. Then click on continue again. And it is currently loading. So now you will have to, so now you will have to do the first sort of like quiz, mini quiz, and then they will give you uh, the correct level, right? So I'm just going to fill all this in and get back to you guys. After you are done with everything, you can see over here your stats and then you can click on claim XP. And here you can see uh, continue. They'll give you a couple of explanations and texts and whatnot. Here you can see your daily streak. So um, they'll also explain what a streak is. Uh, and then here you can see um, commit to learning. So here you can select which type of streak you want to commit to. So let's say a seven day streak, just click on there and then click on continue. And then it says, let's start with section one, let's go. And then here we can create our profile. So here I'm going to fill in my age, then click on next. Here you can fill in your name as well. And then you can also sign up with Google at the bottom. So here I'm going to fill in my name. Here you have to fill in your email address as well. And then here you have to create a password. Once you've done that, you can see um, search your contacts to find friends learning on Duolingo. So here you can find your friends with their phone number. I'm simply just going to click on maybe later, but um, here you can see again that they'll ask you um, uh, if they if you want to subscribe. I'm going to click on no thanks. And then here you can start your 
uh, free two weeks or just simply click on no thanks because you can also do it for completely free. And here we can see that our profile has been successfully created. Simply click on continue again. And there we go. We have now created our um, uh, Duolingo account. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to create Duolingo account.